In this video, we'll look at the hybridization on the chlorines here in chlorine gas, Cl2. So we start with a Lewis structure. This is our Lewis structure for chlorine gas. And we can use this table here to help us. So when we look at the chlorine, let's look at this chlorine right here. We're looking for the number of groups, the number of things attached around this chlorine. So we can see we have this right here. That's one. And then we have one, two, three lone pairs. So we have a total of four things around the chlorine. That means it's going to be sp3 hybridized. And the bond angles, that would really be the angles between the electron pairs in this group here, would be about 109.5. Probably not exactly. So based on our table here, each chlorine would be sp3 hybridized in the Cl2 molecule. Let's look at why that is. So chlorine on the periodic table, it's atomic number 17. It has 17 protons, 17 electrons. We'll spread them out in this electron configuration diagram. So we use 10 electrons to fill the 1s, 2s, and the 2p. Now we're into the 3s, so we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We spread them out, 15, 16, 17. We've used all of our electrons. And we're really only interested in the 3s and the 3p. These are the valence electrons. They're the ones that will form the bonds. So let's just focus on these. We still have the first and second energy level. We're just ignoring them right now. When we look at this, it kind of makes sense. There's one electron here that we could form a bond with. Then we have these one, two, three lone pairs. When we look at data from experiments, this really won't end up giving us the correct molecular geometry and bond angles. To do that, we need to hybridize these orbitals. So we're going to mix the s and these three p orbitals together. When we mix them together, we hybridize them. This is what we end up with. We have four equal sp3 orbitals. These would be 3sp3. And we're going to put these electrons in these orbitals. So we have 2, 4, 6, 7. We spread them out. And then we double them up. And we've used all of these electrons here. We've hybridized it. And you can see again, we have one of these electrons here, valence electrons, available to form bonds. That's our bond here. And then we have 1, 2, 3 lone pairs, which we see up here. The 3sp3, these orbitals here, they're in between the energy for the 3s and the 3p. Let's look at an orbital overlap diagram to see what happens. So this chlorine atom right here, that's what we're talking about. So we have three lone pairs. Let's put those in. And then we have this one electron here available for bonding. It's the same for this chlorine atom here. So now we can overlap these two chlorine atoms, this orbital here, form a single bond, a sigma bond right here. And this gives us the correct molecular geometry and placement of these lone pairs around the Cl2 molecule. So to wrap up, Cl in Cl2 is sp3 hybridized, and this is what it ends up looking like. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.